This is the free motion quilting tutorial for snake spine. This is another variation of bubble path. So if you want to kind of check out a design that will help you learn this design or is very similar, check out bubble path and um, bubble path spiral. Both of those designs will kind of help you with this. So the first step is to create kind of a line of uh, circular shapes and in between the lines you're going to branch out with kind of a wiggly kind of sneak kind of shape. You can see me stitching that right now and you could stitch this either way. You could either set your whole foundation of circular shapes, your whole line of circles first and then stitch your wiggly lines or you could stitch it the way I'm stitching it and that's kind of doing both of them at the same time. Um, it would probably save you a little bit of time to stitch it the way that I'm stitching it simply because you won't have as much traveling to do later on in the design. But when I stitched this I had it in my head and I really thought it looked like um, the bones, the kind of the spinal bones of a snake uh, and how the spinal column kind of fits together and I really like the idea of this design. I think that it would honestly look better if it had more of the wiggly kind of leaf shapes sticking out of it, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, this design does flow very nicely because I'm working circle by circle and then swinging off and doing the wiggly leaf shape right afterwards and that does minimize quite a bit of the traveling involved with it. And here's what it looks like when you finish snake spine. For over 150 videos on free motion quilting, check out daystyledesigns.com.